Hi everyone, I'm Nelly Morena and today I will show you a glamorous makeup look on an Asian model. Just stay here and watch it. As my model has slightly droopy eyelids, I'm using for the eyes the facelift tapes. As my model has sunburned skin, I should carefully apply all the products as I don't want to irritate her skin. She needs for the first a really good hydration. That's why I was cleaning her skin with micelle cleansing water, uh, which is really moisturizing. And after that, I was applying a very big amount of hydrating primer. The pores and the scales I'm refining with poreless gel. For the lips, I'm applying high rich lip conditioner, is a big portion of hydration. I'm applying long wear foundation in shade 1Y60, is a slightly yellowish shade. The color name is Macaron. I'm applying with dabbing motions as I don't want to irritate her skin. The next step is the concealer. I'm applying HD concealer in the shade N45. This shade is very nice shade for tan skin tones. I'm highlighting the middle of the face and also under the eyebrows as I want to lift slightly the eyes. The concealer is liquid and waterproof and has anti-age properties as contains vitamin E. I will contour now her skin with longwear foundation in shade 1Y75. It's a very beautiful yellowy shade in a darker brightness. This shade fits perfectly for tan skin tones as contouring color or you can apply this color as a foundation on a darker Indian skin tones. I will set now the makeup with Setting Smooth Loose Powder in shade 1Y60S. The color name is Deep Golden. I like very much this powder as it's based on rice ingredient and it's very fine on skin, fills the pores very well. For more tanned and darker skin colors I like very much the blush Autumn Leaf. This is the color number 3. The skin is looking very fresh, yummy and perfused. I am applying the blush on the cheekbones and also in the crease of the eyes. I will use now the color Naked Doll from Nude Glam Palette to highlight the skin. I am applying the color over the cheekbones, middle of the face and under the eyebrows. To accentuate naturally the crease of the eye and to add more shadow, I'm applying the color Red Wood. This is Contour Powder CP02. I will prime now the eyelids with eye primer. I'm applying the eye primer very precise as I want to create a very sharp crease. In the inner corner of the eyes, I'm applying the eyeshadow color light marble. The eyeshadow is matte and I'm topping it with Naked Doll to have more satin texture. I'm applying now Pearl Pigment Platin in the middle of the eyelids and also in outer corner. I try to blend the colors well to create a very nice transition. I will apply now Cream Gel Liner in the color Black Panther. I like very much the texture, it's very creamy and very intensive. I can create with it a very saturated line without crumbling. The texture glides evenly on the eyelids and it makes the application easier. I'm applying the eyeliner in the inner corner to create more cat eyes. With a natural brown color, I am accentuating the lower lid. By using a black eyeshadow, I am adding a little bit of accent in the outer corner. As my model has some false lashes on the upper lid, I am applying mascara just on the lower lid. 
To add more glam to the look, I'm applying diamond pigments in shade Golden Rain. I will shape now her eyebrows with the color Ash Brown. I like very much the texture as it's very creamy and by applying it's become more powdery. That means that it's not so sticky and you can easily correct the shape. As the accent in this makeup is on the eyes and on the cheekbones, I will suppress the color on the lips. That's why I am using a nude shade in color Berry Frost. This color is very nice for tanned skin tones, for a natural and nude finish. Now you can see the before and after. I hope you like it. See you next time. Bye bye.